Representative Scalise is well known as a baseball fan, and he was deeply in the thoughts of the House as all its members assembled this morning. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, has spent her morning talking with our congressional delegation and joins us live from the newsroom. Sean. Britt, members I spoke with are shocked and shaken. They are also saddened by what has happened, both Republicans and Democrats. Many of them told me they're praying for Congressman Scalise and praise the heroism of the Capitol Police. Congressman Ed Perlmutter plays on the Democrats' team for the charity game. They were practicing at a nearby field when they were pulled into the dugout, he says, where they huddled until SWAT officers arrived. We said a prayer for our friends who had just gone through this over at the Republican practice field. And that's really what should be going on. I mean, there's no question. I think people are too heavily armed all the time and the noise just keeps increasing. And we gotta just uh, calm it down. It's so positive to see Republicans and Democrats come together uh, as one, as Americans, uh, and, and not as partisans. And so. Uh, that's a relief, and, and it's, it, it speaks well of our country. Sadly, some Coloradans have a different reaction. These are some posts on Senator Cory Gardner's social media. One man wrote, any Republican there deserved it, and leaders should fear their people. Another woman posted, GOP getting a taste of their own thoughts and prayers. And a couple said, you and your fellow Republican senators and congressional representatives are responsible for bowing to the NRA God. Gardner, a Republican, and Perlmutter, a Democrat, denounced the post. Gardner says it's not where we are as a nation, and noted that there are also many posts from Coloradans saying they're praying for those injured. I'll have much more reaction from our congressional delegation coming up at 5 and 6. Britt.